things just like this continue to play a major role in action films today. Here are the explosive out of control mayhem that you see in movies like Crimson Tide, The Rock, and Pearl Harbor can be created using large scale physical as well as mechanical effects. Now the action is then filmed as a carefully planned out sequence of events. Today we are in production of our very own action sequence called Harbor Attack using many of the same effects that directors like Michael Bay use in their films. And speaking of Michael, well here he is to set the scene for us. In this scene, a patrol boat is on a surveillance mission, searching the skies for enemy aircraft, who is caught off guard when the real danger surfaces in the sea. This is going to require a full range of physical effects, split second time, and careful direction. We have the lights, we have the cameras, all we need now is the action. And if anyone knows serious action, it is definitely Michael Bay. So some of the effects that you'll see in our show today include water cannons. Now these are pressurized at up to 100 pounds per square inch. We've also got bullet hits, which must be programmed in time to match the continuity of the visual effects as well as the sound effects. Now last and probably the most important effect you'll see in our show is fire, which must be ignited at a very precise moment. Because it takes a lot of work and time to reset the charges of an explosion. Of course, our number one consideration in the timing of all of these effects is the safety of our casting crew on set. Which brings me to you. Everybody say hi to Brian. Hi, Brian. Brian, you are going to be playing the mechanic on our PT boat today. So your scene takes place way down below deck, below that waterline in our engine room. So are you ready to take a swim? Yeah? Well, I don't think those boots are. So go ahead and follow Kitty. She's going to take you right into our engine room over there. Now, we are going to be filming two different scenes today, but not in the same order that they appear in the script. This is called filming out of sequence. This is when an actor has to react to something that hasn't even been filmed yet. Now, this can get a little bit complicated, so that's where my job as director comes in to help motivate and set the scene for him. It might so, well. When I call for action, your engines have just gone out. You're going to pick up that phone as 800 gallons of water come dumping out of those tanks, fly down that chute, and crash into you like a freight train. So do you feel motivated? Absolutely good. Because it's actually a thousand gallons of ice cold freezing water. But there is a fine line between motivation and fear. So roll way back. And action. Remember your engines have just gone out, so that's right. Get on your phone, talk to your captain. Now Now that's what I call a physical effect. Everybody give them a beat. Round of applause. All right, you did great in that scene. Go ahead and have a seat. I want you to do another one for me, okay? This time I want you to look out at the audience and act dry. <laughs> You know, I like the approach that you're taking with that, but I can still see water dripping off you. This is just not going to work. Instead, we're going to take your scene and insert it into our next scene. Now, our next scene takes place on the deck of our BT boat. Let's go ahead and meet that brave crew. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for our brave Captain Curtis and his wild and wacky deckhand, Jeremy. Woo! Captain's on set, and Curtis standing by. All right, thank you, Kitty. And roll play back. Remember, crew, you are on a surveillance mission. And action. Captain, you hear those planes up above, so look high in the sky because you've got to find them before they find you. Everybody point to the sky. Everybody point to the sky. Because bombs away. 